you people who work with clients, you still have a job. Everyone else, you don't have a job. Meeting adjourned. And with those words, the white haired managing partner of Arthur Anderson, on March 15, 2002, I suddenly thought, my eight year career as a secretary at Arthur Anderson is over. Fellow Toastmasters, most distinguished guest, did you ever suddenly lose something you thought you'd always have? It wasn't a career, but something else. When you lost that thing you thought you'd always have, how did you feel? When I lost the job I always thought I'd have, I felt empty. All I wanted to do was to go home and go to sleep. Have you ever felt like that? giving up and going to sleep. I didn't even want to think about going out to file for unemployment because if I thought about going out to file for unemployment, that would mean I would have to face the fact that I was now so I lay down, went to sleep. And when I woke up the next day, I thought, that plan worked so well, I'm going to sleep the entire week. And I lost the morning. I get up every day about 12.30 in the afternoon. Now, I did have a friend, Bob, who had a job, and he'd call me from time to time. And Bob would say I had to go out to file for unemployment, and I'd make up some excuse or another about why I didn't have to do it, just to get him off my back. Maybe you have friends like that. Keep annoying you. Until one day, Bob said something to me that changed my life, changed my world, changed my life direction forever. Started like a regular phone call. <sighs> hey, Bob, how you doing? Tim, have you filed for unemployment yet? No, Bob, I'm just waiting for the right to opportunity to come along. Yeah, that's it. Hey, don't worry, Bob. The right opportunity comes along, and I'm there. That's when Bob said the thing to me. Changed my life. Bob said, Tim, you can't wait for an opportunity to come along. You have to open up your opportunity. The unemployment office is not going to come to you. You've got to go to them. Same thing with everything else in your life. You do something. Now you open up your opportunity. I thought about what Bob had said for five days. And on the fifth day, I thought, Bob's right. I need to open up my opportunity. And the first opportunity I want to open up is the opportunity to get up earlier. So that night, when I went to bed, I took my alarm clock, and I set my alarm clock back five minutes earlier when I'd been getting up. And then I went to sleep. When I woke up the next morning, eh, 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 checked the alarm clock, it was five minutes earlier. And the next day I got up the same five minutes early. And the next day, and every now and then I'd push it back another five minutes. And I kept doing that until finally, three months later, I got back my morning. And once I opened up the opportunity to get the morning back, I started opening up the opportunity to file for unemployment. That led me the opportunity to go out and go temping. And I kept tempting, and sometimes it worked out, and sometimes it didn't, and I kept at it, and kept at it, until finally, a year and a half later, 
I got a full-time secretarial job. The job I have today Is there an opportunity you're waiting for? Maybe it's not a career opportunity. Maybe it's a money opportunity or a relationship opportunity or some opportunity waiting and waiting for something to happen. Well, if you do nothing, nothing happens. To take action to open up your opportunity. And when you open your opportunity, you have an open Opportunity. Once you have an opportunity, then something can happen. Now, you might be thinking, Tim, I can't have an opportunity if I had the time to do that money situation or do that relationship situation. I would have done it by now, but I don't have the time. You're right. You're right. You don't have the time. Now. But if you took your alarm clock and you set it back just five minutes, you know, five minutes more to work on that money opportunity, five minutes more to work on that relationship opportunity, five minutes more to take your dream and turn it into a reality. And when you get up in the morning, don't think this is, that this is an alarm clock to get you up. Think of this as an opportunity clock that gets you going. Once you get going, you're large and in charge. It's a very simple thing to do. All you have to do is to set your clock back five minutes and you start to enjoy your life more because there's more of your life to enjoy. So set your alarm clock back five minutes and wake up to your opportunity. As usual, in the beginning, you have a very good pulse. I always. Uh, admire and like that post because it does attract the audience and it, I think it creates more mystery more intriguing things saying when he's going to speak to say something is this part of the speech is he making it intentional so it just draws the audience without knowing what's coming after that so it's very effective pause the alarm clock impact pocket was very effective I thought that was very, it's nice, small, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't, can fit in a pocket. So I thought that very interesting uh, prop. You called for action. You said this is, was very clear. Actually, before the presentation, I went and I thought that's a typo, so I corrected it myself. I changed the N to R, so I thought, oh, maybe Tim made a mistake. But it was cleverly uh, coined the phrase. To make it open to it, so it was very interesting. How do you call? How do you merge? Or how do you go from opportunity to open to it? The idea of moving your alarm clock five minutes per day, yeah, that's not a bad thought. I don't know if it will work, but I thought that was an interesting way of. Uh, when you were saying it, I, I, I was started thinking, well, maybe I should just. Should I go ahead today and change my alarm clock five minutes ahead of time <laughs> so I can wake up earlier? Maybe, but I didn't commit in my mind at least to do it. But at least it, it was thought provoking that made me think about it. The only comment I have, uh, maybe earlier for improvement, when I heard the speech before, I thought when you when you started talking and you imitated the Arthur Anderson CEO was more effective. The reason is this. Today, uh, I saw you doing your hand like this, putting your hand at uh, your waist, and I thought, well, that's not what a CEO would do. And also, the tone was not uh, conciliary tone, it was a strong tone. So if you don't have something, it's kind of just firing people with a very strong no emotion. When I heard it before, it was with authority. It was saying, I am the CEO of this company, was very brief. What I admired about it that that CEO was very effective. He just said a couple of words. If you, if you have a project, you can continue. If you don't have a project, you are out of work. Thank you. Meeting a jail. I thought when it was a soft tone, have some spirit in the tone was very, very effective rather than a challenging tone with a hand on the, on the side.
very interesting speech and uh, you can uh, good luck in the next thank you uh, the pausing was excellent all the different voices you use lots of variation that was really uh, grabbed my attention good gesturing that was very effective good prop Great facial expressions, good cadence, so that you didn't go too fast, you didn't go too slow. Sometimes you were fast, sometimes you slowed it down. That made it interesting. I can't think of any growth opportunities. Uh, just, just thought it was terrific. Um, Tim, I would just like to say I enjoyed your presentation. Um, I think the idea of five minutes extra in the morning was innovative and, and uh, something that could be uh, easily done, perhaps. And um, the um, title to your talk was uh, very uh, clever and provocative and uh, uh, sort of hooked me in, um, which I thought was interesting. And it created um, sort of an expectancy um, which was, um, I think, gave the entire presentation a lightness and an interest. It became more interesting to me right off the bat. And um, I thought there were several points well taken um, about how to turn a, a circumstance in your life into an exciting opportunity. And um, I appreciate your presentation. Thank you.